Renee here. And this whole month, we've been talking about the love letter. No, not those sappy, over-the-top things that you write to your boyfriend or girlfriend, but the ones we want to be sending to our customers on our email list. So once you have an email list, the next natural step is to start emailing them, right? Go figure. But what in the world do you say to them? This is going to vary from industry to industry, but there are some pretty solid rules that everyone should be following. First, pretty standard rule is you don't want to pitch yourself to the list every single time you send them an email. I've heard of business owners that only sell in an email maybe a couple times an entire year. Yeah, imagine that, only actually trying to sell something twice a year. But guess what? It works. So what are you saying in all those emails in between then? You're going to be working on building and growing that relationship with them. You are serving them either with information that you think they would find useful, new content you think they would love to see, or pulling back the veil on you and letting them get to know you a little bit better. So when it comes time to actually make a pitch, your customers are not only going to be ready, they're going to be waiting for it. They are ready to buy and will eat up whatever you have to offer. So the bulk of your emails, though, are going to be working on serving and building that relationship. How can you best do this? My pro tip is to list out the most common reasons people don't buy from you, whether it's a price concern, lack of understanding, credibility issues, or countless other reasons people will give you for why they aren't ready to click buy. I would then strategically draft your emails addressing all those topics in a genuine, real way. How can you best do this? My pro tip is to list out the most common reasons people don't buy from you, whether it's a price concern, lack of understanding, credibility issue, or countless other reasons people give you for why they aren't ready to click buy. I would then strategically draft out your emails around addressing those topics in a genuine, real way to share with your audience. Other ways you can build that relationship is by sharing parts of your own story. Maybe you don't want to send them an email about that sushi you just had at date night, or maybe you do because it was just that good, but share parts of your story that make sense with what you do and what you will eventually be pitching to them. You could share a fun story about art school if you're a graphic designer or some breakthrough you just shared with one of your own clients that you think they could relate to or learn from. It helps make you a real person and not just a business. They can relate to you and it gives a story to your name. You're no longer just an from email address. There is no hard and fast rule for how often you need to be emailing your list. I'm big on making it work for you. If you're trying to turn out an email every week and it doesn't feel right, chances are you're going to be struggling to come up with what to write and it's going to show to your readers. So don't even waste your time or your energy. Try it out, experiment with it, and just see what feels right and what works for you and your business. Just keep at it and be consistent no matter what you do. No one likes to be ghosted in person and the same applies for your email list. So get to emailing. Join me next week where I'll talk all about turning that list into bucks in the bank. Our last step for love letters this month. Thanks guys. Bye.